Suppose you have three integers a, a, b, c. These are three integers and let's say a times b is grouped together and then times c and it's a times in the second condition it's a times b times c where b and c are grouped together if this first condition where a and b are grouped together for multiplication is equal to the second condition where b and c are grouped together then we'll say that the multiplication of integers are associative in nature or the integers follow associativity of multiplication and let's take uh, assign some values to these integers whether these are some arbitrary integers that is let's say a is 1 b is 7 and c is 5 let's say this is the condition so if a and b are grouped together this will be 1 times 7 and then 5 and in this case the second case is 1 times 7 times 5 so if you solve these then this will be 7 1 times 7 times 5 and this will be 1 times 35 this will be 35 and this will be 35 so these two are equal so it satisfies this condition now suppose a is a is minus 1 b is minus 2 and c is 8 simple 8 okay this is a this is b and this is c now check it for this one so a times b will be minus 1 times minus 2 and then 8 and for this one it will be minus 1 times minus 2 times 8 if you solve these then this will be two negative integers therefore it, the outcome of this particular multiplication will be positive and since 1 times 2 is 2 therefore 2 times 8 and here you have minus 1 times here only one negative integer is involved therefore this outcome of this product will be negative and since 8 times 2 is 16 therefore it will be minus 16 this will give you 16 and this will give you 16 these two are equal once again this condition gets satisfied this condition gets satisfied therefore multiplication of integers are always associative in nature whether they contain positive integer or they contain negative integers doesn't matter they'll always follow the associative nature and in general we can say that a times b grouped together times c is equal to a times b times c grouped together